Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's See What Happens. This is Jeremy, we're playing Starbound. I'm sitting on the couch of this big giant... thing? I don't know what he is. But, we learned that I need to make a machining table. And to make a machining table... Ow, 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 ow. Okay, so to make a machining table, I need to build a furnace to turn the iron that I've got into, um, into iron bars. To turn the ore into bars. Pretty standard stuff. Well, to make the furnace, I need cobblestone. I also need a, a campfire. But first and foremost, I need cobblestone. So let's go ahead and pull... I guess all of this unrefined... Oh, this is mudstone. It's not even cobblestone. Dang it. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll be right back. B big guy. Whatever Whatever your name is. Giant, giant scary thing. See how my jump is not as pronounced as it usually is? It's because of the mud. That. That is... Is this cobblestone? Oh, that's unrefined mudstone. It's not doing anything for me. That's okay. We'll find some. This particular series is just... I don't know. This one's just going to be me. This one's for me, really. I'm having fun. I'm doing... Uh -huh. My standard... Nonsense that I do in this game. Just running around, finding stuff. Enjoying my time. Trying to find cobblestone. Who knew that was going to be difficult? place is usually riddled with it. Ow! Also, I seem to make a really cool noise every time I get hurt. Ow. Ow. Okay. Now. There, that's cobblestone. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dude, 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 dude. I'm sorry. Holy crap. He was unhappy with me. Holy cow. He was definitely in it to win it. All right, let's, uh, let's get some of this cobblestone. Hey, there we go. We can make all sorts of primitive stuff. Primitive broadsword. Ooh, that's nine. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna make that for right now. That primitive broadsword. Oh, before we do that, I was gonna show you guys something. I, I realized that I hadn't done this. So, this doesn't have one. Uh, but the there we go. Two-handed weapons typically have a secondary attack. So, this is your standard. That's your secondary. And it uses energy up in the top left corner there. However... So, that one is called Spin Slash. Well, this primitive broadsword that I'm now going to be using deals more damage. Uh, 9 DPS, 7.5 damage per thing. It's 
pretty cool. It's got a really great one. It's got Rising Slash. You can use that when you're falling as well to help you not die quite so easily. There. Okay. So, let's get some more of this cobblestone real quick. So there's a lot right here. I think we only needed 20 for the furnace, but I want to have enough for whatever else we plan on doing it, doing with it. Now, I don't typically build a base until a lot later in the game. But because I'm going to, I can feel like this guy is going to have me doing a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, you know what? We'll just cut straight through. Screw it. We'll do it this way. We'll just come right through here. Collect all these vines. Alright, guys. Kill all these chicks. Hey, I leveled up. Awesome. Because everything is awesome. Well, let's let's craft one of these. Aha! That's what the mysterious book does. That's how you level up. All right, I'm in level two. Let's real quick. Uh, stat points. I've got one stat point. Classes. So. You can be all kinds of different classes. The Explorer, Evasive Utility, does better with tools like pickaxes, flashlights, or the Matter Manipulator. The Explorer's skills mostly improve movement and mining. The Explorer glows while health is greater than half and is slightly more resistant to physical attack. Now, I'm probably going to use that because that's what this character is. This character is an Explorer. But let's check everything else out. The Knight, Melee Tank, does better with two-handed melee weapons, but still does great with sword and shield. The Knight's skills mostly improve defensive capabilities, though all have offensive measures as well. The Knight can heal via perfect shielding and has a greater knockback resistance. The Wizard, Ranged Utility, does better with staffs and wands. The Wizard's skills mostly improve utility and movement. The Wizard can randomly apply elemental status to enemies while hitting them and fares better against the elements while holding wands or staffs. Um, we'll do a summary. The ninja's mixed range evasive DPS does good with shurikens. The soldier is a ranged tank, does better with two-handed ranged weapons, but can still use one-handed ranged weapons pretty good. The rogue is mixed ranged crowd control, does better with one-handed weapons. They uh, mostly improve offensive capabilities, though they also increase physical poison and knockback resistance. So we're going to be an explorer. And you get a class weapon at level 12. Which is pretty awesome. Cool. That turns on my... Turns that on. Alright. Locked until level 60. 10. 20. What did that J say? Not implemented yet. Mastery tab. Upgrade tab. Like, all of these are that. So, let's hit up our stat points. Oh, click the stat, I stat icon. Um... Slightly increases one-handed melee weapons, which I'm not using, but it significantly increases two-handed melee damage, which I am using. <clears throat> Increase jump height, decrease fall damage. Hmm. Very neat. Um, significantly increases max health. Very cool. Also, your armor does that as I go along. Like, my health, my health right now is 126 health, 131 armor, 115% damage. But no armor. That's why I'm getting... When I get hit, I'm getting hit. Because this is just an outfit. It's just a shirt. It's not actual armor. 
Vigor is max energy, intelligence is uh, energy recharge rate, and staff damage, which I'm not really worried with. Endurance, uh, physical render endurances, and um, knockback resistance, physical resistance, and all of the other resistances as well. And then dexterity, uh, ranged weapons, and blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to go with strength. When I get more of them, I will hit up, more than likely, these top three are going to be my... They're going to be my jam. So, now I deal more damage. And I'm better with tools. You'll notice that my matter manipulator is a little bit faster now. That And that's what I was talking about. You can just knock out the back. And you'll get a better glow than the... Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. You'll get a better glow from knocking out the back than you will from placing a torch. And I kill up all of these guys and kill that thing that's in the water. Boy, that's a lot faster. This will be neat, because I'll get to go down here. Oh, good. I'll get to see what this glow function does. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm constantly healing while killing that guy. Very, very cool. I don't know what spiral energy does. We should figure that out, I guess. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Now, to make the furnace, I need a campfire. Thank you. It seems you've discovered fire. Furnace. Thank you. <sighs> I guess we'll, we'll dig right in through here. We'll make a little cave base to start with. It's not ideal, but it won't be the first time that I've done this. Just build into the inside of this just enough to get Just enough to get all of the stuff that I need in here. There we go. The difference, the difference with knocking out the back and the torches is that the torches do let me see a little bit more of my surroundings as well. If we go to about there. That ought to be big enough for everything that I'm going to be placing for right now. So, furnace. Boom. Let's smelt some iron bars. Ah. Jerk. Uh, yeah, no, you know what? We can just jump. We're good at jumping. So, to... Build. Uh, no, see, there it is. Two iron bars, two copper bars, and paper. Okay, there's the paper. There's my two iron bars. Now, what we're going to do is build an anvil because my anvil, I've got a mod that makes ores a little bit easier, uh, that make getting bars easier. Iron bar, timber. All right, so let's make some more iron bars, shall we? Because it's two ore for one bar. But what I've got... 
three. That ought to be enough for the anvil, I think. No? One more iron bar. All right. There. Now, let's make the anvil. Boom. We'll put it... There. Now, if I go to throwable, I can make copper dust. We'll make all of it. And we'll make all of the iron dust that I have. Iron dust will give me... Uh, so, and then when we go to the furnace, now... Iron bar is made out of iron dust, so it's a one-to-one. -one. So, boom, that's all the iron bars that I've got. Boom, that's all the copper that I've got. Now you can go back here and see what all I can make. Now I need leather to make any of the bone armor. But weapon-wise, you see, we've got the bone cleaver, cudgel, Mace, scythe, spur, which is like a hand, a throwing weapon. The cruel axe, bone sword, some iron stuff, you know, a whole like tungsten. These are all things that you can collect to, to make. You know, these are all things that you can make throughout the game. Tungsten dust, silver, iron, gold, the whole deal, the breathing thing. But I need tungsten bars and glass for that, and that'll come later. But let's try. Let's see what it takes to make this spinning wheel, because I could really use that. More timber. Okay. Well, let's let's just do that. There. Now, let's make a spinning wheel while we're at it because I need to create some new armor for myself. There. Woven fabric. How many can I do? 48? Really? Yeah, I guess. All right, let's do 20. For now. So you can also make these fun plushies. The bumblebee. I don't know what the library book does. Oh, it's a quest. Neat. Uh, teddy bear, you know, all that. These are all of the things that you can look like. They don't really do much. You know, draped top, elite pants. You know, you can really, you can really deck your guy out. Now, what's it take for the vest? Some string, right? Let's make a little bit of string. Five string. There we go. Now I can make just about everything. So, make a new hat. Boom. Make some slacks. Boom. And we'll make the vest. Boom. So you'll notice, plus 25 damage, plus 6 um, shield, 5 energy, 5 health. That's the vest. 10%, uh, 2.4, 2 and 2. And two. And then 15%, 3.6, 3, and 3. So that's going to give me an extra 5, 8, 10 hit points. Same 10 energy. 11, 12, 12 um, armor, you know. So that's going to be really, really great. I'm already wearing the hat, <clears throat> which is awesome. <laughs> Now, let's go ahead and put those on. And these are piggybacking off the... Uh, I think off of the Nova Kid have this outfit. But it looks really cool on him. Yeah. Alright. So, should be able to make that machining table now. Yep. Great work. Next, you are going to need to make wire at the machining table. It'll be necessary for the next step in fixing your ship. Okay, sure. Cool. Uh, sounds like fun. Let's put down the machining to... Whoa, you're... You're... 
you're a big one. Let's clear this all out. One more. Yeah, that should fit right there. There. And. Oh no, it's too tall. Oh no. There. Now it should fit. Do you need it on your stuff? Like... Ow! Jerk! I'm confused. I don't know, let's go another one in. Be able to make a lot of bricks with all this clay. Weird. All right. Well, let's make some wire. Yeah, so this machining table makes a bunch of stuff. A whole bunch of stuff. You can do a hand mill. That'll extract materials from certain blocks. Capture pod. There is a Pokemon element to the game now, which is really kind of cool. You can weaken up a dude and then uh, throw the capture ball and get them. Okay, good job. There's one more step to getting your ship fixed, an electromagnet. Build one at your machining table. Electromagnet. Electromagnet. Oh, there it is. Ah, just some iron bar. And uh, boom. Hey, hey. Thanks to Vindalis. Oof. We'll call him Vindal. You've managed your first steps towards escaping this planet. He's given you a super useful, useful personal tricorder. Oh, cool. Okay. Good job. I'll fix up your ship's impulse drive. It should no longer have a 47.3% chance of exploding... Now we need to f find an energy source. Unfortunately, it might be a little bit dangerous. There's an old abandoned mine on the surface of this planet. I've detected strange readings coming from within that mine. It might provide the power you need. Okay. And now if you look up in the top left... There's a little arrow. And it shows you the direction you need to go. So here's the thing that I'm going to... Oh, take this personal tricorder. It has several useful functions. Click mouse 1 for medical scan. Uh, mouse 2 for the task manager. And press shift and mouse 1 for the tool configuration dialog. Okay. Neat. But one thing I'm going to do right now... I don't have enough fabric! One thing I am going to do right now is I'm going to make some more fabric. And I am going to make a flag. I am able to reconfigure the ship's teleporter to teleport directly to the location marked by this flag. Place and interact with the flag to establish a name. Boom. So now I interact... I call this Vindal. My caps lock is on. I call this Vindal. Boom. Now, I will automatically beam down. I can automatically beam down to here. So, we're going to beam up to the ship real quick. Haven't been up there in a bit. 
and we're gonna let down all of these Um, I'm going to put down all of these crafting things. There. Hey, Krabby. How's it going, buddy? And you go there. So this is a problem that I have sometimes. The, the starting ship is not big enough. But what you can do is create a wooden platform. You take your wooden platform. You build it about there. Like so. Then you can take this guy. Oh. Now you can take this guy, boom, and you can get it from down the bottom. You can also jump up here. There. Now that's everything that I've created. Um. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Shoot. That might be enough. Nope. All right. So we'll pull that up. We'll put this down here like so. And we'll put this up there like so. So now I have access to all of this stuff still. I can still come up here and do all of these things as well. So let's go ahead and... Kind of throw in a lot of these decorational things that I've picked up. What is that? Personal tricorder. Okay. I'll keep an eye on that. I'll throw a bunch of this stuff in here for right now. Keep those bombs. I keep the grenades too. But a lot of this stuff needs to go away. I don't want it junking up my inventory ah you know what another thing that I should probably do while I'm here craft an actual campfire take said actual campfire put it down cook all of the poultry that I've got boom make all of the stuff into food There. Now that takes all of my food and turns it into stuff. I see that you are eating sufficiently. With a full stomach, your body will slowly regenerate and heal. That is true. It will. It doesn't matter quite so much here. But now, check it out. I can beam down to just the standard spot, or I can beam down, beam down exactly where I put that flag. Which is very, very helpful. If you find something really awesome below the surface, you don't want to have to make your way all the way back down there. You want to make a flag and deal with it. Shoot. So, I'm gonna want... Dang. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna want to keep that... Um spinning wheel on me for right now there now we're good I keep the spinning wheel on me I'll keep collecting vines I can make more um, I'll make more woven cloth and then I'll be able to make more uh, flags like that's that's the whole point of having all of this stuff. Uh, 
Sometimes it will freeze up like that. But you'll see, I'm putting off my own glow right now. That's a thing that explorers do with this mod, which is great. All right. So I guess the mine that we're going to is either way. We were in the dead center. So that's good to know, I guess. You'll see that I'm not getting hurt as badly now because I've I've put some armor on. So they're not hurting me as much as they were. I can... My survivability goes up. The better your armor, the better you... you the better chance you've got to survive in this game. The better the armor, the better chance you've got to survive any game that gives you a chance to upgrade your armor. I mean, let's not... Let's not mince words here. Stronger armor is just better. All right, let's see if we can't find the cavern that we're looking for. And depending on how long that takes, that might be a good spot to stop. Okay. Let's see. I need to put dirt back here. Holy heck. The whole dang on clan of them. That was nuts. There was a mess of those dudes. All right. Ooh. I learned how to make an omelet. I like omelets. Oh, maybe that's what I'll have for lunch. It's not an awful idea. I think this is sulfur. Yep. Sulfur is one of those things that they added, I think, in Fracken World, uh, Fracken Universe. I do not believe that it is a an original game, a vanilla thing. So. I only glow as long as I'm above 50% health. Which is why the lights went out there for a minute. Alright, there we go. I wouldn't typically kill all of these dudes, but they seem to, like, every once in a while, they give me... They give me, uh... Experience, or... Leather, or food, or one of those things, so, I mean... I usually leave the indigenous, like... The critters, I think is what they call them. I tend to leave the critters alone. But, like, those things give me stuff. Yeah, it looks like I'm lagging just a small amount. Not too bad. It's noticeable, but... It's not really hurting my feelings. <laughs> you jumped right over me. <laughs> All right. Okay, man. There's so much stuff.
There's so many of these little dudes. What is up with that? Come on. And that raw poultry I can always use. See, that's just regular water. That other stuff by that dude is healing water. By Vindal. Hello, bird. No, no, no. Come on. Gotcha. Hup. Oh, there's a chest. Boo. Nothing that great. That's fine. Eventually, we'll find this cavern that they're talking about. Get some more coal real quick. You eventually get so much of everything that it's ridiculous. I think this is silver? Yep, silver ore. Huh. Interesting. Ah, there it is! Alright. I am detecting a variety of life signs in this mine. If you are intending to explore it, I may advise adequately arming yourself first. Which I have done. I've done a fairly decent job of of arming myself in what I would call to be a sufficient manner. I don't know if it's truly 100% sufficient, but getting there. Before we make our way in, though, I am going to steal some of this cobblestone. I'm going to sort of set up base right up at the top of this. And there we go. There we go. That's the thing that we're looking for, the core fragment. You discovered a core fragment. These are useful objects. I estimate that you will acquire at least 20 of them, which is very true. I will. But for right now, What I really need make a bunch of those craft another flag place said flag right there we're gonna call this core cavern there we go. Now I've got yet another teleport destination. I can bring myself directly back here. I'm going to get a lot of what I need out of these boxes. There are going to be boxes all over the place. There's another core fragment. So you do need 20 to power something or another. Ho, 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 ho! That was crazy got me right in the middle of what I was talking about. Um, you do need uh, 20 core fragments. Oh, it's spitting Yoda. Hey, hey! I leveled up. Alright, well, that's gonna... We'll go ahead and level up, and then that'll be a perfect place to end this. We've made it to the core cavern. And we just need to get 20 things. So, I will be taking these lights on our way back. Some of these lamps and lanterns and stuff like that. So, let's go ahead and level ourselves up real quick. And that'll be it. I think we're doing pretty good. For not having played in quite some time. 
All right, class. So, what else can you do? Select a skill. Hmm. At level four, you get to glide after the double jump, which you'll get later. Uh, press G to switch between enhanced air dash and enhanced sprint. I will get a, a sprint and everything. Drill sphere. Oh, no way. You can turn into a, a Metroid ball and it drills. Drills down. That is awesome. That's level 16. And 32 is an enhanced glide. All right. So let's go ahead and put up vitality. Need more hit points, obviously. Cool. All right. Oh, listen to that. It's getting loud. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this episode. Um, remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you like what I'm up to. If you like what I'm doing, I really appreciate you guys taking time out of your busy day, dropping by, seeing what I'm up to. It does mean a lot to me. It really, really does. Um, I get excited every time I get a new subscriber. I get excited every time I get more views. Like, it really, it's really, like, it's, it makes my day. Uh, I get excited when I, when somebody comments on one of my videos. I do my very best to reply in some way or another to every comment that I get. Um, but yeah, like, tell your friends. Send them my way. Maybe I'll play a game that they like. But that is going to do it. So, uh, as always, guys, I'll see you all next time. Bye.